Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I just want to show you how to make a simple spreadsheet in Excel that will add up your columns automatically and stuff like that. Now I'm using um, Microsoft Excel 2007 um, but m some of the things can apply to 2003 or 2010 or whatever so you should be right. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first is click in the box here. So just say for an example that we're just going to make a um, little spreadsheet on how much money um, a, like a small business can make. So let's just call it um, a coffee van, say, and we're just going to do the sales for... Um, each month okay okay so basically that's the title for it now what we're going to do is go down to the first box now I'm just going to quickly show you a simple one so we're going to go um, January now um, what I'm going to do is drag this box across and it'll fill it in for me okay so January February March April May, okay, so it filled it in for me, that's fine. Okay, so down the side, I'm going to um, write some products that the coffee van sells. So we've got coffee. Oops, that's not meant to be there. Wait a minute. It's just coffee, right? Cake. Now this is going to be how much we sell in um, in dollars, okay? So hot food. What else can you sell at a coffee van? I'm just trying to think. Mm. Just say donuts, okay? All right, so we've got four things there. So in January, just say um, I sold $1,200 worth of coffee, um, $300 worth of cakes, 500 of hot food and 400 of donuts okay so we'll just fill the table in so these would be your actual takings that you've got so just say for an example we'll fill it in right so now we've got our table filled out now you'd usually use the right um, you know takings or whatever but that's fine Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a t column down here and call it totals. Okay, so we want the totals of these columns to show up down the bottom here. So I'm going to drag this along totally there so it looks like that's where it's got to be. And I'm going to go up the top and look for this little symbol here, this... Um, it's called auto sum so if you've got an earlier version you'll just see a little icon so I'm going to press on it and if I go back down you can see that it's added up my totals for me okay now um, at this stage I can also because I've got it selected at the moment I might make it bold to make the to totals stand out and um, also I think I might um, I don't want to underline it but I want to put a line over the top of it so let's just say I come to this little box here and it gives me all these options so I'm going to go top border okay so now it's going to have a top border right and also I might just bold that there okay, so let's just um, color this while we're here since it's selected so go up to this little bucket here and you can see um, a few choices here so let's um, color the total section and um, we can color these as well Oop. okay so if you just select all of those and just get them a little bit um, a different shade to the other one there we go now um, we've got totals down here as well um, we can select all of these and make them a different color 
what colour do we want to make them? We don't want to be too fancy. Okay, so now I want to fix up this title here and I want it to move to the centre of all of these. Okay, I don't want it stuck over there. So what I'm going to do is start here and I'm going to drag with my left finger on the button. I'm going to be selecting all of those and I'm going to go up the top and say merge and centre. So it's got it there. And while I've got it selected, I'm going to bold it, okay? And maybe we can make it red or whatever you want. It doesn't really look good red, but do you know what I'm saying, okay? Right, let's just make it a coffee colour or something like that. Um, the other thing is, well, we can put the background behind it or whatever you want. So let, let's put a background behind it and then change the text back to black. Okay, so we have um, a table forming here which is looking quite good. Um, this here would look good like that, I suppose. You know, just give it a bit of a jazz. You can do the same thing here. Colour those up a bit. And also make them bold. Okay. So you've got kind of a thing happening around here. Now also you can colour those titles, um, those totals. Oh, I haven't even totaled that column. Um, I was going to put a total column here. So if you wanted to, you don't have to. And the same thing applies here. We just select all these and we can also come down here. And we go up to the auto sum and press on it. And now we've got all those columns totaled or the rows totaled up. Okay. And um, the columns are totaled downwards and then the real total is here. So in theory, all these should add up the same as all this okay so this is the absolute total right there so you can jazz it up and make it stand out a bit okay now this is um, pretty fancy stuff here I'll copy all of that and make it something some color to match in with something there we go Alright, now it's a bit of an odd um, table, but I, I guess you get the picture. Um, anyway, now what I'm going to do now, we'll just say, look at this, this updates automatically. So just say I'd made a mistake there, and I'll put in 200. Okay, now all the totals change. See how now it's 12,442? So let's do it again. So we'll make it 500 and it's changed again. It automatically updates itself and so does this column at the end. So th at the moment it's 4750. If I go and change this one to 500, uh, there we go, it's changed. Everything's updated automatically. This is the great thing about Excel. So if you were adding these fig figures up on a calculator um, and you made a mistake, you would have to go back and fix it and start again whereas this is got the numbers in front of you and it adds it up in front of you and it's stuck there so that's great um, anyway I've just got to make this is bugging me this I've just got to make this that color as well just to <laughs> and you can go around and surround it if you want to go around the whole table let's have a look you can do all sorts of things um, let's go around okay I know it looks weird I suppose that should be that color as well but um, anyway i just want to show you that you can do whatever you want so what I'm going to do now is make a chart which is really easy so um, first thing is we're going to select all the actual numbers in here we're not going to select the totals, okay? Just the actual numbers, because we want the graph to add up its own thing, okay? So now we're going to go to insert, and we've got like a pie chart, a bar, you know, all sorts of things here. This is um, 2007, 
um, but of course 2003's got um, the graph available as well so you press on it and you get to choose which one you want so I'm just going to go a simple one and here it is here okay so it's given me the um, all the details and it's showing me you know what the winner is and blah 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 right so what I'm going to do also is that I want to change all of these numbers in this um, in this spreadsheet that I've made into um, dollars okay right so we're going to right click on it I've select I just want to select the numbers okay just the numbers and I'm going to right click on it and say format cells and then I'm going to go to currency because at the moment it was just on general numbers right so it says dollar sign because I am using dollars and we'll go Australian dollars and also um, two means the two decimal points now if you don't want the decimal points just take them off go to zero okay see how it changes but if you do want the decimal points just put it back to two okay so press OK okay now it's updated my um, graph here as well and it's also updated all of my totals okay now as you can see I didn't do the totals here so I can still do them I just select them all right click go to format cells go to currency and do the same thing now there's the decimal point thing again take it away and press OK see now that's done as well okay now this looks pretty professional um, well for an amateur okay so um, I'm sure this will impress your bank manager when you go for your loan or whatever you're doing right so let's do it again okay so that's done now um, if you want to be an accountant or something like that you are definitely going to have to know how to use Excel there is no doubt about it alright thanks for watching